Salute to everybody. Well, it seems as though Nene Leakes has now responded to the reports of her son having both a heart attack and a stroke. First off, if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Hit the like button. Let's get into it. Now, Nene, Nene Leakes got emotional. She pretty much detailed everything as it pertains to her son's situation. I'm going to give you guys a clip from her page. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I just want to send my prayers out to her in this regard. I hope, you know, I hope her son Brent gets well soon. He was 23 years or he is 23 years old and suffered from a heart attack and a stroke. She gives details as to what was going on. Like, comment, subscribe, new to the channel. Let's get into it. Okay. Hey, guys. How are you? Um, so, obviously, uh, I've gotten tons of text messages tons of emails everybody's asking and concerned about Brent and uh, we thank you guys so much um, uh, this is not the way I wanted it to come out uh, we wanted to be able to talk about it ourselves when Brent was in a better place um, so here I am because I, I would rather the correct thing be out there than something that's not correct uh two weeks ago today uh brent had congested heart failure and a stroke uh, he's only 23 so he's really young for something like that to happen to him um the first thing you know a lot of doctors think of when someone that age come in with that kind of condition is maybe they have done drugs or maybe they have some serious infection maybe hiv or some sort of infection is what i'm being told by the doctors brent doesn't drink or do drugs and obviously they've tested him for all of those things they also tested him for hiv um they were thinking that um, maybe he had caught COVID and he didn't know that he had COVID. Um, they did see, the doctors are saying they did see some things like that happen if they caught the Delta variant. And uh, he never knew he had COVID. Um, I've never known him to have COVID. Um, so they have run a number of tests on him to see what could have possibly made this happen to him. And uh, we are still trying to figure out because if we knew the cause, obviously they could treat the cause. Um, it, was, it was very scary. Um, um, I, I don't even want to go into details of what happened and how I found out and what condition he was in. Um, obviously, a stroke is a very serious thing. And so um, he's struggling, you know, with speaking. And um, it's... I, I don't know. Just know that uh, keep us in your prayers. Um... Uh, keep bringing your prayers. Uh, so many people are e e uh, texting and emailing me about the lounge. Uh, the lounge is still open. You know, Brent ran the lounge. That was his pride and joy. He loved it. Um, it is still open. Uh, the managers are still running it with the regular hours. Um, we have, you know, sat and talked about selling the lounge now because it's something that Brent runs along with me. And I got into business with Brent and Greg and some other friends to do it. And uh, this is just a lot right now on me. Uh, so uh, if there's anybody out there that's possibly interested in the lounge, uh, send them my way if they are interested in purchasing it or it's very possible that we will sell the lounge um, because it is something that I shared with Brent after Greg's passing. 
So uh, just send me an email to booknini at gmail.com and we, uh, the right people or persons, I will point them in, point you in their direction and they can um, speak to you about it then. But right now the lounge is still open, their regular days. Um, Brent FaceTime me this morning. He's in uh, good spirits. Um, uh, you know, we just are just shocked. Just shocked. Uh, but I thank all of you guys for your 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 prayers. Everybody's just emailing. Can they send flowers? Please don't. Um, I honestly would prefer. Um, um, we do prefer balloons and um, I don't know all of this is still so new to me and, and we're not revealing where Brent currently is um, I, because it's so new I'm, I'm going to you know get some of my people that are working with us to maybe find something that you guys can um, donate to that can help with this kind of situation. If you remember some years ago, I had blood clots in my lungs and we could not figure out where it came from. So they're thinking that maybe Brent was born with some sort of disease or or something with his heart since he was a kid and uh it just never showed up until now like we we don't know this is just a lot for us right now um and everything is still very new um um you know I, i've been asked a, a million questions by everybody that's hitting me up you know could his weight have been the issue the doctors said they don't think so um they've asked you know just I, I don't know that i've just been asked <laughs> so many things and i i'm just i'm baffled i i i am baffled um um it's a lot so just keep praying and i will you know speak to you guys whenever i can um again he has shown some improvement and uh, we're really happy and blessed for that. Um, just keep us in your prayers. Send me an email to booknini at gmail.com. If you know anyone that's interested in getting into the nightlife and they may consider the Lanithia Lounge, we put a lot into it. It's a beautiful place. Uh, thank you guys again for all of your uh, love and support. And uh, I will be back on here talking to you guys again uh, real soon. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> okay, so I'm back on here again because uh, I was just looking at some of my text messages and everybody becomes a doctor, I think, during this time, you know, they try to tell you, you know, what to do, what not to do and um, all of those kind of things. Um, uh, I'm being asked a million questions, but um, one of the things I do know, uh, Brent was very stressed out in the month of September because that was the one year anniversary for the passing of his dad. Uh, he was very close to his dad and he's been super stressed out over it and uh, I don't even know if that has anything to do with it at all I mean I really ask the doctors really questions like that and they seem to think that that is not the case with Bryn so many people keep asking me about his weight they, they, I'm like he is not as big as I don't think that people think he is he's a super tall guy and um, and the doctors say that it's not that either. So this is something else that we're dealing with that we the doctors don't even know yet. Um, so I don't know. I will just you know just keep praying that we find the cause because once we find the cause, we're able to treat the cause, and obviously that's what we want to do. Um, um, I will come back again whenever I can because I can't answer all the texts or the emails that so I'd rather just talk on here and and uh, yeah but uh, thank you guys uh, we do have a lot of support a lot of people there's uh, asking but we could use all the support we can get Brent has a lot of great bonus dads that are surrounding him right now and uh, so we thank you guys thank you thank you <laughs>